I'm a composer and I teach at Berklee College of Music uh, composition. Uh, my history with the uh, Yamaha School goes back a long time. I started with the James C. Uh, one when I was three years old and went through all the pretty much the curriculum uh, and I ended up when, when I was 16 uh, and I attended uh, several JUC, also the, the international one in Imanusaro in Japan. My experience with the GMC was really enriching because of that. Uh, I don't really remember learning music, learning the music fundamentals in a way, uh, and it became very natural to me. Of course, I have a very, very, very enjoyable memory of the GMC in Japan. I went to, to that GMC when I was 13, so everything was kind of uh, new for me, of course. Uh, it was the first flight on the plane, it was first, you know, it was a lot of the first time of many things. The, the guest of the concert was Rostropovich, uh, the famous cellist, which was, I was, I used to play cello at the time, so for me it was like, it was like a myth. The other thing that I really remember about the GUC in Japan was this, the hard work, because they really had a very high expectation, and rightly so, about performance beside the composition. And not a very good practice, my, I mean, for piano, so that was the, probably the moment that I studied the most. Maybe they're gonna cut this out, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> To talk about my teacher uh, at Yamaha, I already have uh, Roberta Ferrari, which was actually this, my teacher for composition, and Alicia Mazzei, which is my teacher for piano. Uh, I mean, they both became family friends because my mom was also, well, you know, my, I, also my brother and my sister went to the same school, and you know, so it's, we're, we're part, of a, per, part of a family pretty much as we are now here in a way, which is kind of interesting. <laughs> I always uh, have this memory of, uh, of Robert, Roberta, especially, you know, this, this very meticulous but also very joyful teacher. Love to hang out with kids and, and, and I really, I'm really grateful for that time with her, you know. Yes, uh, I think that in a way the experience that I had at Yamaha uh, because, of, because of the fact that it provided me this acute sense and, and, and familiarity with music in a way uh, also helps me to address students who are uh, have approached music differently, right? For reason, that's a big challenge for a school like Berkeley. Berkeley is a very diverse group of students. It literally has students from all over the world and so um, having like a very close and, 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 and quick uh, relationship with music helped me to be able to, to quickly understand how uh, a student would think uh, or how uh, he or she would addre address the instrument or whatever. So I think that, again, this is like another benefit of the school, you know, yeah. Uh, as far as, if I have to name the, the benefits of the Yamaha school, um, I would probably say there are, there are several actually. Um, so first of all, the, the, um, the development of the ear, it's crucial. As far as I'm concerned, so I have perfect pitch, uh, and I can easily, so for me it's very natural to think about notes when I hear music, you know, um, and that comes from that their exposition. In fact, my mom used to tell me that I learned notes before learning to, to, to read, and in fact that's what my daughter is doing right now. So Kate knows the notes already and she's started to read just now, you know. And I had a proof about this when I went to conservatories, because, you know, you start doing theory, solfege and stuff like that, and I literally surfed, surfed through that without any problem because of the education I had here. The, the work habit, the work ethics, so to speak, the capacity to work and focus. So, which of course is that other thing, capacity of concentration, right? So the idea to, because it's really music, it's really a very immersive experience in that sense. And so the idea to be able to, to, to develop this, this capacity to, to, to focus on one thing for a long time, it's a particularly uh, precious nowadays, I think. The benefit of group learning, I think, it's the fact that you realize you're on the same boat with a lot of other peers, that you realize that you can build something together that alone would be impossible. I mean, the whole value of the ensemble playing, it's just unique in a way. And the other element, of course, is the fact that, you know, you are really, uh, well, you compare to each other, so you feel gently pushed uh, and, and without being really kind of, you know, harshly corrected, so you have this a sort of a peer pressure in a way that even at that age, that really becomes, you know, whether you want to sing better, whether you want to play better, you know, this is like a very natural 
uh, way we behave, and I think this encourages that. And of course, another element that it's important there is also the the social aspect of it, right? So already, I mean, some of uh, some of the actually, I'm still in touch with some of my friends from from I mean, with one, two of them actually, you know. My top five reasons for this. Um, the first problem is is just that it's just a great experience overall. It's just a great human experience. I mean, we need to listen to music. Every culture in the world, no matter what's the background, they have music, right? So in a way, being acquainted with music is like a value as a human being, I think, which is very important in a way. Uh, the second is going to be smarter because, you know, that's something that actually makes you think quick and it's just even beyond learning a new language, right? So it's just, it just wires your brain in, in a way that it wouldn't otherwise. The third is actually it's, um, it teaches you a method to work. So even early on, it just a allows you. So for instance, the way I learned music helped in the way I, for instance, attended college, right? Uh, in the sense that, you know, the practice, the way to study and the way to work, it's definitely a, a value in that. Um, the fourth thing is, of course, in, when it comes to, to, to music and learn and playing together, it's just something that is enjoyable to play to, to do together. And as number five, as a, as a parent, I would say that music is like really something you can use and play and, and, and share with your family, you know, and that's something that really brings people together in a way. Okay, there are several ways for which I would recommend the Yamaha, the, the Yamaha methods. Uh, and I could probably say I have a say on this in three ways because I'm a teacher, I'm a parent, and I'm a graduate, right? So I have three different points of view. So as a graduate, so as someone who took the school, took the courses, I'm really grateful for the method because it taught me a lot about music. It taught me a very natural way to, to interact with music. As a parent, uh, you see your kid learning pretty complicated stuff for their age, pretty complex stuff for their age in the sense that, you know, we learn about all these notes and all these chords and, and connect those notes with the chords. So it's a very advanced motor and mental skills. So it's great for that reason. And also because they, they really have fun being together and, and, and stuff like that. So it's definitely also an element to, again, bring this dimension to a natural level. As a teacher, of course, they start at a different level, right? So if you're here, you have to learn the vocabulary and then get creative. That's going to take a long time. If you are already here, you can start being creative right away because that part is taken care of, right? So that's definitely an, uh, gives you uh, like an edge uh, when it comes to learning music as well. I can definitely see how the method is is accurately crafted. You know, in the sense that you know, if you look at the music wonderland, like for instance, also uh, music wonderland, and how gradually the students are, the, the the kids are exposed to learning about music vocabulary. You know, you start from impressions, then you learn about music foundation like dynamics or you know or high and low and stuff like that, and then finally do comes right, and then do is repeated then, and then it goes to three notes, and then it goes to the five notes, and then so on until you get to the chord. Everything so meticulously structured in a way. It's so beautiful to see that from a perspective of like, again, I, the multiple aspects I have, a parent, a, a grad, and a teacher, and a teacher of this stuff, it's beautiful to see that how the directory is really, really nicely crafted.